down in London uh, to see We Will Rock You and it was an amazing show. When I saw the electric guitar, sort of like a god, I just felt like I really had to make a cake similar to that. So as you can see, I'm through all the different stages to create this cake. Uh, the main thing is, of course, internal structure. The cake is balancing on its bum. It's really cool. So we're going to be using threaded rods, bubble tea straws. Uh, then, of course, we've got the foam core, the cake, and, of course, the strings. And all the magical finishing touches, like the wee whammy bar. And, of course, the cool thing is, it's actually spinning around as well. So grab your guitars. Let's get started. Rock and roll. So I've, I've cut out this, uh, printed off this template. I had to print it off on three sheets of paper to get the right size, which David did. No idea how he managed to do it. And the, the total length of the, the, the body is 16 inches, which is about around about 40 centimeters, okay? And the width is um, about 11 inches, which is about 20, 29 centimeters. And you just draw the line, okay? Now, once you go around, you can see how easy that's marked the, the board here. So we want a second one of these cut out, okay? So you can see it's quite flimsy. So if I only had one of these necks here, it would just snap, even with the covered sugar paste. So we need two of these. So what I'm going to do is place this on here, okay? And then we just want to go around. Now, I'm doing this in my workbench, which is a workbench. It's not in the kitchen. It's, it's um, a, for doing crafts, etc. So I'm not worried about my worktop getting... Um, Marked, nice to work with. Okay, there we are. Hopefully that should just come away quite easily. There we go, look at that. How awesome is that? All right, what we want to do here is we want to measure a little sort of rectangle here. So if I just, there, and then across there, making our lives just that little bit easier. Okay, so look at that. How cool was that? So if we just stack them on top of each other, like that. Now, I think we'll probably need more. And then they're gonna sit on there like that. We're gonna glue them together. Okay, and then this neck will then sit in here. So hopefully that makes sense. And then the cake is gonna sit on this area here. The design I had in my head was, getting a, a poly um, straw that you use for stacking your cakes. Um, and then this actually fits perfectly for a 10 mil threaded rod. So basically it's going to slot, imagine that's the rod, the rod uh, is going to slot in there. Then what we need to do is, you get, your, you get your second one, you need to lay on top, okay, and you press down on the foam core, and look, it leaves a line. And all we do is we set this on top and then we just cut two lines so that we end up with my little blue Peter numbers. We've got our bits that are already cut. So you can see that it doesn't quite match because it's been cut because it's going to be down there like that. Okay, so it means when we set this on here, like so. Okay, and then we set this one on the bottom like so. You can see there that's it's left inside. The straw's quite thick, so we need two that's cut, so you've got them inside the cake, like that. And then the, th the fourth one is then what sandwiches it all together. All right, so just pop the glue on. Okay, it does melt into the paper, but don't worry. And then we just want to place that on. Okay, and we're just going all the way down all the way down, all the way back up. And that just gives that a good strength. Now we're going to cover this in sugar paste so you won't see the, the line, the sort of lamination there. Okay, so before we get the cake, which is here, we need to make it food safe. Okay, and all we want to do is get this stuck down on top, okay? So um, now you can do it the silver side or the foil side. And now if you don't have a cake card, of course, you could just use tin foil. Uh, some people use chocolate grease with paper, keep it uh, food safe. Okay, like that, okay. So all I want to do is just get a little bit of ganache and just pop that on. Now, now the cake's gonna be just here and here actually, so all we need to do is just pop that on, maybe go around the corner a little bit and then just on there. 
So, um, so I've got the template, I've drawn around. Now, if you're gonna be using, making a lot of guitar cakes, hopefully you will be, um, then you want to laminate this uh, so that you can reuse it over and over again, okay? Uh, oh, now that cake's broken there. Now that's probably broken by the way I lifted it out of the freezer, to be honest. Okay, and I'm just gonna pop the ganache all over to make it it's nice and sticky. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so uh, this cake is actually a sweet success and it's the Genoese cake. So they, they do two chocolate cakes. They do a death by chocolate and a Genoese. That looks good. Uh, and then as it starts to firm up, um, all we want to do is this ganache on top here, just brush it on. Okay, as it, as it firms up. We problem. Okay, so I made this too tall. Remember I said to make it the right size, time to put the ganache on. It's still just a little bit too, even when we put the sugar paste on there, it's just still gonna be too tall. Now, the other thing is, because I doubled it up from the last time I made it, it's even deeper. So it's almost too deep. So it needs to be too down. Deal with the consequences. Oh, that actually came off quite well. That was good. Right, now let's just pop that on there. Now we've got to imagine this is gonna be covered in sugar paste and that's gonna be covered in sugar paste. So it's gonna be the same height roughly. So it's still, I think, too high, okay? So I am gonna to have to take off another layer to go down, but that looks good because the time this gets covered in sugar paste and we can just, we can boost the height up a little bit more. Uh, that looks a lot, a lot better. Now we're gonna cover the cake, put all the decorations on it, we're gonna paint it. Ideally, you want the cake to sit for at least 24 hours before we put it on the, the stand. So a little spray just to let it bond and stick. So on there. Okay, there we are, good. Okay, so let's just get this iced. There we go. Get nice and close and all the way around. Nice. Okay, and then just get your knife. Make sure it's nice and clean. And you want to always just cut in the way. Looks good. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop the 96% alcohol in and that just evaporates rapidly fast. Um, so just really all I want to do is just go back and forward and just almost think of a zebra almost. And we're just gonna guess, which is any, any true guitar players will be freaking out when we're doing this. So all I'm doing is just putting the, these little lines um, down here. Do that in a wee while, we'll just give this time to relax before we do that. Okay, so you can see there, it looks so much better already, just seeing those lines appearing on the, the, the neck there. Right, okay, so I, was, I need to make sure I'm cutting it the, the right way. See, that was the wrong way. Okay, so there we are. So just gonna place that on there. And then get our little knife and cutting this out. So try and keep to the shape. But remember, it is a cake, so when you're, when you're going around cutting it, it doesn't have to be exactly the same as a template. A nice finish. There we go. Beautiful. Oops. There we go. Place that on. Oops. Make sure it does come right up to the, this part here because that's where the the neck's gonna go. This bit doesn't feel quite right, but we're gonna get this bit on here. And then once it's on, if you want, you can just lift up and just put a little bit extra water glue. Just want to start making things that look important for a guitar to work. And the more wee bits we put on, I actually like it like that. So I think I'm gonna keep it like that. That looks quite cool. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, and then we just want to do the same with these ones. So once we've got these made, there we go. So we've actually been invited, we're going to a wedding uh, this weekend and... Okay, so um, there we go, we've got the, the two wee um, thingamajiggies there. So that's good. So I'm just going to release them and put them there and we can, again, they're just firming up. To attach on there, yeah, that's perfect. So just a little bit thicker, pop that on there. And there we go, this has got our little whammy bar. Okay, so there's definitely an element of freestyling. 
moving a little bit. Now just make sure you do get the underside as well. I was actually telling the story for something else. I must be getting really old and I've completely forgotten the reason why I was telling the story. Anyway, <laughs> it must have been a lie. Uh, you don't use the alcohol to do it, you just use water. Because the alcohol just evaporates so quickly, it doesn't actually remove the mark. Okay, so just popping the ones on. Okay, and just remove. Up here, good. Right, so once you've got them in, just watch your eyes and you can just cut them. It doesn't matter because the wee, the wee um, black bits go over the top anyway. Now you do want to be going out a little bit. I don't know. At Kermarnock, um, the cake was on its side uh, and it was really hot and it was absolutely fine. Okay. And of course it needs to go up to the next string, so it's up to this one. Right. Obviously I'm trying to do this all on one, and I do know that a guitar would also, the strings are all individual, okay? And I'm making all this fresh. Now, it would be better if um, it was made over two days, rather than just one day, okay? That one there, good. There we are. Okay, so... Now, I am absolutely blind and I can't see the bottom bit at all here. So I'm just going to have to just hopefully go for it. Where is it? There we go. There we go. Yay! Oh my goodness. That was stressful or what? And there we go. So that is the cake on. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that looks cool. There we go. So hopefully you've enjoyed watching this one and I shall see you again soon. Bye.